Moon here. We are going to continue our journey to complete the Darkest Dungeon. We are on week 7. Let's see what we got going for us this time. I uh, don't recall that we picked up anybody on that last one except for maybe another healer. So that might be someone to take out, try to get another healer up uh, from level 0, of course. We have unlocked everything except for the stagecoach, or sorry, the trinket wagon and the survivalist camp. Those two are still elude us. I'm not sure how long it takes those to get unlocked, but it seems to take a long time. Uh, I don't particularly care about the trinket wagon. I rarely use it. Probably should look into it more often, but um, it's the uh, survivalist camp that I really like because we can start unlocking some better camping skills, stuff that'll make uh, surviving the night Once much better. Our estate was the envy of this land. Okay, so we have. Let's see, we'll sort by stress. Sort by level, matter of fact. Yeah, we want to do. Perhaps. I think this is a cold run time. Something short. Uh, we'll get our healer a chance to get their feet wet. It looks like we got to help in the skill up for her, though. I could take the other healer, but she's already level 2, and I really don't want to try to out level Dismas if I can help it. So let's see here. We have trinkets. Leopard's got a couple of them. Accuracy, crit, yes please. Extra healing, yes please. Outstanding. Uh, from there... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Take some Blight Bleed Resist on her, why the hell not? Uh, are there any humans there? Bleed resists. Look at that, someone else. Disease resists. Encounter the disease resist by taking a dodge hit. Yeah, that'll be okay. That don't make me unhappy. Oh, you, sir. Play Doctor has your own accuracy trinket. Lower hit points, but that's okay. Uh, from there, I'm going to have your stun skill chance go up, I think. And you, madam, we don't want you moved. Uh, I suppose we could take some bleed resist at the expense of some dodge, which you don't have anyway. Uh, but let's get you an uh, ability that we can use for attacking in the back row. Judgment, Dazzling Light. You're actually going to be pissed on either of these. So I'd rather take the one that allows you to heal yourself uh, instead of, say, Bash. Matter of fact, we did okay with money on the last one. Let's unlock two of them. Uh, I really like these four abilities. One, two, three, four. For a healer. You get the party heal, the individual heal, ability to heal yourself while doing damage, and it can hit anybody as long as you're in the back two positions, which is money. Uh, and of course, Dazzling Light, which allows you to increase the torch light stun and hit the first three targets. So again, all good stuff. Uh, what else we got going for us here? We got the Noxious Blast up. We got to bleed up in case we need to bleed something. The healing increase is not worth it, and we're not using it in that position, but Disorienting Blast is up, so that's good. Uh, from there, the only move that we'd be able to use in our position would be this one here. So let's actually do that. We'll make him a level 3, or a position 2, excuse me, uh, character all the way. There you go. Still useful in all the positions, but by and large you want to have uh, your Plague Doctor, you'll see Grave Doctor, your Plague Doctor in position 3 or 4 ideally. But we are trying something slightly different because of Kane coming with us. And Kane, we've upgraded the two we wanted for her. The Blight being a biggie, the Flashing Daggers being another one. The other ones are actually still pretty good, the accuracy is still pretty high on them, so we're all at 95 or 100 percent accuracy base, which makes me happy. Sir, are well. She's 
cheap enough, we get the healing up a little bit because you do have a healing buff with the trinket. Uh, having said all that, again, we're sitting in Sage Coach. There's nothing there we needed to take. Uh, still got no survivalist camp or no nomad wagon. Okay. Gotta make sure we know diseases on anybody that needs to go in and get cured. Nope. Alright, so with that, we're going into our cove for the very first time. And again, cove and ruins are blight sensitive targets usually. And uh, bleed sensitive targets are the warrants in the wield. Darkest dungeon, I think, is a free for all for anything. Okay, so we need all the food. You almost will never convince me not to take all the food. But we'll take a few shovels, because shovels come in handy in the cove. Uh, there'll be like giant oysters that you can prop open with a shovel. And of course, uh, barriers or barnacles or whatever that you'll have to dig through, so that's useful. We're going to take 12 torches. Even this is a short run, just because. There's a decent amount of blight there, a decent amount of bleed there. over uh, preparing again but again it's one of those where I'd rather have stuff than not have stuff and these coves does scare me compared to everything else the only thing that's worse in my opinion is the boss fights in the darkest dungeon itself so the cove even at level one is particularly gnarly but this will be a good test run and again even though our healer is level zero is going to have some stress on her I'm not particularly worried. We already have a couple of level 2's on the team for some serious uh, damage uh, buffs and debuffs These and whatnot. These salt caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. I like that scout. That's a good scout. I've never seen a scout go larger than 2 unless it was a map find. If anyone knows of other... Uh, yeah, she's too low. Uh, and again, it's 110% for this character. I still don't think that means it's a guarantee. I think that it actually has a chance of failing on every every time you pick something like that. It's good find. I like money. Oh, I forgot to take. Well, I'm glad we found one. That come in handy. Can't believe I didn't see that. Uh, all right. So now this one is interesting in that I could stun this character. These ones are particularly gnarly. Uh, I could bleed him. I could blight him, of course, too. I could blight this one pretty darn easy. As a matter of fact, I think I want to do that. There we go. It'll die in two turns whether I do anything to it or not. See you one. Uh, I think I want to make sure it dies. Why not take something out when you can, right? There you go. Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Oh, and he didn't have to because he's a dodge master. It's okay. If anyone is going to get stress, it'll be the one that has the stress relief ability. That, that makes me happy. Oh, uh, so let's keep the light up. There we go. We'll start concentrating fire on her. Boom. Pretty damage. It's almost guaranteed hits for this, even with her high dodge, because she's got some monster. Uh, their formation is broken. She's got some monster accuracy. Maintain the offensive. As the bye bye. Holes, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, they're giving me lots of loot here. Maybe this is the reason why I should be going to the cove more. Fat loot. Right off the gate, huh? Make my day. Make my day. We're getting some pretty good scout chance. I wonder why that is. There's a map. La -da 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 -da. Oh, there's things. Now, and again, if you guys see this in the description or in the comments down below, feel free to comment and say otherwise. I've been of a mind. And when you get a map, it should actually reveal things for sure. I think I've seen it where there was like a curio supposedly in a room, and it, when I got to that room, or that hallway, it was not there. So I think the map can lie, or give false information. 
so keep an eye out for stuff like that. Uh, he has 70, again, she's got 110, she's got a miserable 50. We're going to try for 70, just because he does have the stress. We're going to try to start peeling some of that off. And even if he missed, you know, he could take the damage. We'll just burn it right away. Okay, safe room. I'm going into a room fight with a treasure. Okay. Now this one... Wow, pass relief, pass relief. I want to say this can remove a quirk. A negative quirk. I might actually burn a lot of stuff doing this. I swear it's just a clickable and you don't have to drag anything to it. Uh, but since I don't know that for sure we're gonna try some stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Okay I'm just gonna click it at this point thing. Gives me a buff. Cove tactician. Ooh, damage in the cove which is where we're at. Boom. Okay new guys to fight. Stress relief guy, of course. Causes disease and blights, I think. And these guys are just straight up damage at any position that they're in, so you don't have to worry about them being in one through four. If you see them, they're bad. Um, we are going to target this guy, because as you can see, they have a lot of protection. Low hit points. Now you're going. Okay. Uh, I am going for some damage. Self heal. Like that. Uh, we are going to chop, chop, chop. Nice. That damage buff is coming in handy. Okay. We gotta take this guy out because the stress is gonna really start to pile up on these characters. As you can see. Take damage rule. Out of the picture. Let's see. Yeah, still more susceptible to blights than bleeds. Yep. Yeah, didn't even need it. Give them no quarter. All right. Uh, let's individual heal him up. Get him closer to four. Trying for some crits. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is okay. taken. A speed stone, huh? Well, uh, I suppose we probably eat up some of that there food and place it. Speedstone. The stress on my healer, of course, is already starting to concern me, but nothing I can do about it right now. Fight time. This could be it for all I know. This could be the last battle. We'll do some straight up damage, see if we can start slaughtering these guys quick and quick. Yes, go with the attacks. Turn wound the guy that's already wounded some more and stun him. That worked out well. Nice dodge. He ain't got that much to work with. Okay, we want to disorient this guy to give us a little breathing room. Oh, I forgot it's a party shuffle too. That's nice. Creates. Nice man. That accuracy trinket on him is fantastic. Confidence surges Goodbye. as the enemy crumbles. Bite him. Yep, he's gone. Bye-bye. Alright, now I could kill this guy, but we got wounded people and we don't know how many more fights we got going. Probably a time to start getting some stress peeled off, too. We'll take him out on this next turn. Maybe. Let's just let the blight affect him. In 
been emboldened with some extra damage and protection and speed. Heal up. You too. And now you'll die. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, we're getting lots of trinkets. This is a helium, uh, hellion, <laughs> hellion trinket. Extra HP, but uh, decreased to stun resist. Mm, it's not bad. She sits in the front anyway, so that extra X HP can come in super handy and keep her from dying. But what would I get rid of? I guess this would probably cost less. At the very least, that's something. Okay. Unlock strong box. They don't really want to give me gems and stuff, don't they? The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay. Yeah, see, the map didn't show us this room battle. So again, things that just irritate me about the... Oh, you have a map! First fight. Concentrate on the stress reliever. Or stress maker. that bleed. Okay, let's see, how does this work? Not as much damage to the back as I would have liked. Well, let's disorient and push you forward. There you go. A little choppy choppy. Makes my day. Annihilated. Now these guys will do less damage when they're in the back. They'll stumble forward, but they'll keep trading turns like that. In fact, I think I want to move this one a little bit, too. Nice dodge. chance to heal up a little bit. Oop, little bleed. Oh, we brought the bandages, though. It's part of heal. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Alright, uh, tell him to give that debuff on even look at how bad it was. I just don't want it. Oh, uh, see here. So I got money, 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 money. Trinkies. So, this is probably not worth that much. So a stack would probably be much better. I want to keep the holy water in case we come across a curio that reacts with it, simply because I didn't bring one in the first damn place. Uh, and everything else is still good. Or a good idea to keep it, anyway. I suppose if I were to lose anything, it'd be the crest. I suppose we'll just make this a money run. You know, take deeds at every opportunity. Got. Let's see here. Yeah, she could use some loving. Click it. Ooh, an unholy slayer, you say? Oh, that'll be nice for her. She already does uh, blight damage. Extra accuracy and extra crit for the unholy means she's gonna rock it in the ruins. Beauty. That yeah, was totally worth it. Fight. Particularly gnarly one because of this guy. Not to say that all of them aren't just horrible, horrible creatures. But the one up front has its own little uh, protection buff on itself. And does some pretty damaging moves. So we're going to concentrate on Stress Master, because we don't want her freaking out on us. And they seem to be targeting her pretty, pretty gnarly. Stun you so you don't get your turn. Thank you. Good bug, Mr. Bond. Oh, yeah, let's team heal. Oh, that was a nice one. And there's barnacle protection here. 
slapping on a guard, which means we can only target him, and that guy gets basically a, attack the piss out of us. But that's okay, and here's why. So this guy was going to get blighted anyway. I'm going to stack the piss out, and we're just going to wipe him out as fast as possible. Shocker can be gnarly because of stuff like that. They can also bleed you, I think, or blight you, or disease you, or something equally nasty. Yeah, there's a bleed. Yeah, that's not too bad, though. I will patch it up since we brought the bandages, might as well. Alright, you're officially dead. So I to focus on you. You like stunning me. Oh. Oh, big critty. Some stress for everybody. Boy, that was not cool. No bueno. Go away. Alright, she definitely needs some loving. Unfortunately, the heal wore or the stun wore off of my Vestal. Now, the Woodjet, this guy's a jackass. He starts targeting that character with toast. But it won't come to that. Alright, money, money, money. Be wary. Triumphant okay. pride precipitates a dizzying fall. This one I want to say is a buff, like a damage buff. And I think all I gotta do is kick it. Oh, nice stress relief. That was useful. Wish I would have known that. I would have done that. I'm a healer. Uh, all right. Now we the are done. Of safety. But we have food left. And we haven't gone the other way. No, again, we ain't gonna have another. Excuse me. My, my bad ain't no good English. We aren't going to have another fight in a room. That doesn't mean that there won't be curios of all kinds of wonderful stuff and fights on the way. Check. That's fine. So now it's when stuff like this comes along that we can say, ah, oh, we probably don't need the shovels anymore because you know we can actually officially leave whenever the hell we want. As soon as I say this, now watch the next curio we run into is going to be like a damn clam, which would require a shovel. Or a barnacle. You can cut yourself on those. gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. That's it. We are done. That last one we could have busted open the barnacle chest the with a shovel. The odor abates. The things are driven back for a time. Now that was not a bad run at all. We had pretty successful uh, money that looked like it at first because all the over providing I did. But we did pretty good on loot. Uh, okay on trinkets as well as heirlooms. So grand scheme of things, we made some decent cash. Got a lot of deeds. Got a trinket from my highwayman that I wanted again. Oh, that's a good move. We'd like to lock that one in. Extra speed and dodge for the first round? Yes, please. Got a good, couple of good positive quirks for my team. Got some much needed XP. So, all in all, a good run. Let's see what happened. We dug for months, years, and eternity. And we were rewarded with madness. Ah, see. Lost me a trinket. How dare you. This will happen, by the way, when you get stress relief. They'll sometimes throw bad things at you, like they'll run away or whatever. Or get another uh, bad quirk. You know, they'll stress out because they were, like, flagellating themselves in the church. and They are like, uh, you know, abusive to pain or something stupid. So, like, this particular instance, we actually had a character that <laughs> blacked out and misplaced a trinket, the camper's helmet, which was uh, stress heal while camping. Uh, and scouting chance, so a really good helmet, so that's kind of sucky. Uh, as far as stress goes, though, we still have some characters that are freaking out, but easily remedied. Let's see how we did. Let's start with level, please. No one's level three yet. We got a full team of level twos, so that's pretty sweet. 
Uh, those level twos would be good anywhere, really, because the damage slash blight slash bleeds. So if we had like a boss fight, that's level one. I don't think there ever is one, but it's possible. Probably closer at the ruins than anything else. This would be the team you'd want to take. And that's probably what we're going to do in the next episode. Let's check our uh, stage coach. Okay, we already have each of those classes represented, I think. Yeah, yeah. And a Hellion here. So, I'm going to actually pass on that, but you'll see we're actually getting pretty full. So I'm actually going to extend our barracks size Where to 16. Is Ambition, Ambition is stirring in distant cities. cities. We can use this. Still haven't unlocked either of those. Uh, but with that, I'll say goodnight. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, I'm Brother Mute. Hopefully you guys like this playthrough so far. Again, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, and I'll see you next time.